Hey guys, it's Amy again. I wanted to apologize for not being on lately. I've been kind of a little busy with work. Oh my god, they've been driving me like a slave at work lately. But no problem with that. Anyways, um, hey, more hours, more money. That's all I care about. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to uh, show you guys my top five things that I believe are daily routine, everyday needs. Um, these are in no critical order whatsoever. I'm just going to name them off of a CM and, um, you guys can either agree with me or you can just tell me what your daily routine is. Uh, let's get things going, shall we? All right. What I'm going to start off with, uh, first off is hand lotion. Now I believe that everybody, everybody in the world, regardless if you're at work or at home or whatever your career may be or whatever you're doing, must always have a good, reliable hand lotion with you. And it's just something to make your hands feel nice and soft and good after you do laundry or after you do the dishes or even when you uh, get done taking a shower. Sometimes your hands just feel kind of dry from all the soap in the bathroom so you do want to keep these things nice and clean and nice and pretty to match those lovely nails that you've been working so hard and so greatly to impress that boyfriend of yours for so I believe that I have two different kinds here uh, one of them's newer one of them's almost out so I'll go ahead and show the one that's out already this one is the velour I believe let me see if I can get it there we go it's a four hour moisture keep a uh, Vero Pure hand sanitizer moisturizer. So it's a moisturizer, but it's also got hand sanitizer in it. So you're getting two for the price of one. How cool is that? I uh, found this out at work not too long ago, and uh, it's got uh, it kills nine percent of nine nine point nine percent of the germs. It's alcohol free. There's no alcohol in it, and that's usually what uh, is in most hand sanitizers that dries out your hands a lot. <laughs> And it has clinically proven hydrating moisturizers and it's safety derm technology, so it's pretty safe for you. It smells pretty good. It, it smells like baby powder to me, really. And it's four hours of continuous germ protection for just like a dime size worth of dollop to be put onto your hands. And I usually keep this in either the bathroom or my room. Right now it's right here on the desk. Just just because sometimes my hand just feels really crappy so I just go ahead and use this and or I will have it on uh, the bed stand. But this is the old one <laughs> that's almost out and then I just recently found a new one <laughs> that is by Miss Sally Hansen, the manicurist. I recently have been addicted to Sally Hansen uh, extreme wear nail polish and I just happened to glance at the nail aisle and I saw this lotion there and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and at work they both cost uh, five nine nine six nine nine five either six or seven dollars rounded up and they're about the same uh, contents and everything this one is the hmm, there you go the Sally Hansen Nails and Cuticles Hand Cream with 24 Hour Moisture and Shea Butter involved into it by Miss Sally Hansen. <laughs> and what it does is it softens your hands, smooths cuticles, and conditions your nails for 24 hours. And if that is not the best thing in the world, it smells amazing too. I love it. In fact, I'm going to put some on right now. See, you just need that much. Whoops. Yeah. You just really need that much. Just a small between dime and uh, nickel size worth of a dollop. And then you just liberally put it into your hands. Sometimes I even do this to the ends of my fingers to get it down in my cuticles. But uh, I love the smell of this because it doesn't smell like shea butter. It smells like pine salt lemon kind of smell. It's not so strong that it's burning your nose, but oof. It just smells so good. It smells like lemon meringue pie to me. And I love it. I love it so much. I've only used it maybe three or four times since I bought it. And I even take this with me in my purse to work. And then that's the first thing I do. I was like, okay, name badge. I got my pens. I got my necklace. I got everything on me. And I was like, ooh, hand sanitizer and moisturizer. So I go ahead and put that on. <laughs> and then, um... That was uh, basically our my number one pick. I believe you should always have hand lotion on you at all times. Um, even if you go down to some drugstores, they have those little 99 cent uh, tin discs 
things or plastic this things uh, I know Nivea has it they have it both in their uh, thickening moisturizer the original blue tint and the uh, Nivea soft uh, lotion moisturizer and that would even be a great idea you could just keep that in your purse you won't have to worry about it but uh, I honestly believe that you should always have something like that on hand just to make everything a lot easier for you number two is going to be of course hand sanitizer now I have little bottles of hand sanitizer in my purse because work only has maybe one or two dispensers of hand sanitizer on it. And then being in the photo lab or just doing things directly, you're always messing with dirt. You're always messing with all sorts of crap, chemicals and compounds and things like that. So constantly having to wash your hands besides going in and out of the bathroom. So we always make sure that we try to keep hand sanitizer on us or make sure that we sanitize our hands every once in a while especially if you're going to come in contact with a customer you want to make sure that you're not giving them cooties or anything so uh, this is my sanitizer that I have Oops. it's the germ X I believe morning fresh smelling hand sanitizer and it's in the spout and this is my desk one but I have uh, three little ones one of them's left and another one I just threw away so my second one this month usually a little bottle lasts me about two to three months a big bottle will last me about half a year so as you can tell this has only got maybe a third of it gone but uh, I usually use this at my home in the kitchen or at my desk right here in front of the computer because I'm doing line art and messing with pencils and markers all the time so I want to make sure that I don't have anything on my hands when I go and cook and do other things so um, you can get whatever sanitizer you have the one thing I will tell you as a fact and note is, is if you have hand sanitizer and you want to go ahead and use it use it first prior to using your moisturizers or your hand lotions so that way you're not drying your hands out more than you're supposed to so I told you these were going to be out of order they're not exactly in order from a must-have completely all the way down to the least have of whatever but uh, that would be number two is sanitizer or hand sanitizer number three is going to be believe it or not deodorant <laughs> and this is my deodorant it is the Dove ultimate go fresh deodorant in rebalance with plum and sakura blossom and I love this stuff so much oh my god I love Dove because I used to use Secret a lot, but for some reason, Secret just, I don't know, it gives you that kind of dandruff, flaky feeling under your arms, and it gets on your shirts and stuff, even though they say it's not supposed to do that, and I just feel so uncomfortable wearing Secret. I just don't like it. I used to wear it when I was a kid, but... I just don't like it anymore. Dove, I love. I have this one. This is the newer one that I have. I'll even shove it up close. There you go. Dove Ultimate Go Fresh. And I used to have the uh, cucumber melon smelling one too. And then this stuff will last you a while. I don't have to put as much of this stuff under my arms. And I don't have to worry about reapplying it more than I had to with the secret. So I definitely say this. Um, whatever matches you. Deodorant is kind of like moisturizers and shave cream and everything else that you have to have. You know. <laughs> It's meant for men and women all alike. It just depends on what you have. Okay, number four, I believe. Yes, one, two, three. And now we're on number four. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was on there. Number four is, I believe, facial cleansers. At least in my daily routine, it's facial cleansers. And I have two types of cleansers. One of them is a cream. My old one was, and then I stopped using it because it was irritating my skin. I have very sensitive, dry skin, as you can probably tell. And um, the cream one is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. <laughs> and it's not the best thing in the world. I will admit that. <laughs> it's all free. It's a deep action, so it gets deep into your pores and gets all the dirt out. But um, it says it's all free, but guess what? This thing takes so much moisture out of my face, I hate it. I mean... And then the other thing is that it's cool and refreshing tingle. Yeah, it was like that the first few uses that you used it. And then if you leave it on your skin too long, especially if you have sensitive skin, guess what? It starts burning your face. It starts hurting really badly. And so I started thinking, you know what? I just, I'll use this every once in a while. 
I really don't want to use it more than I have to. Like if I went on a date or went out or something and I wore really heavy makeup, you know, like liner and all that crap and put a lot of blush and bronzer and stuff on me and lipstick and whatnot, <laughs> then I'll go ahead and use this. But, uh, less is more with this also so I would probably only recommend like the lotion just between a dime to a nickel sized dollop in between your two fingers and then just smear it and do whatever you want on your face so this is a once in a lifetime thing now I don't use it anymore so but it does clean your skin really good I would just give a forewarning to people who have sensitive skin like me especially dry sensitive skin don't leave it on your skin very long because it will start to burn and kind of feel like toner I guess the uh, alcohol based toners that most guys and some women use so I wouldn't do that uh, the cleanser that I use nowadays is a foam cleanser and it is the Aveeno foam cleanser <laughs> and it's ultra calming foaming cleanser and it gently cleans your face and for dry sensitive skin and it's fragrance free I love this stuff so much I love it love it love it it's my favorite cleanser of all time number one reason why I love this cleanser is because it's a foam it's not a cream so my face doesn't feel heavy and it instantly and naturally calms fever view is what it says on the bottom with naturally calming fever view fever view is a type of plant or chemical in it that reacts with rosacea and blemishes on your face. I used to have really bad rosacea all on my cheeks, you know, cheek areas and stuff. I used to have it along the bridge of my nose too, and it was really bad whenever I got in basketball in high school and middle school and I worked out a lot. I'd be burning red all over my face and everybody would be like, Amy, it looked like somebody slapped you on the cheeks a few times. And this corrects that. I've only been using this for about two to three weeks. I love it. Not an inch of rosacea on me whatsoever. I'll do this side first. See, no rosacea. This right here happens to be a, a scar. No rosacea whatsoever. And I love it. No rosacea on my nose. Everything matches. My skin's even and everything. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. <laughs> highly recommend it <laughs> to especially those who have very pale light sensitive skin this stuff is awesome so definitely get it <laughs> and then uh, I have a third cleanser that is in my shower and it's the clean and clear gel cleanser which is almost out I'm probably gonna get the skin brightening one which is like a kind of a lemony yellow looking color with some little orange specks in it not the orange speck clear one but the it's a little different uh, recommendations, I wouldn't get the gel cleanser and use it outside the shower because um, it just dries out my skin just like the cream cleanser does. If you use a gel cleanser inside the shower, then that way while you're washing your hair or doing other feminine needs or whatever, then uh, it's working into your face and then after you get done washing your body and everything, just clean it all off and it's no biggie whatsoever. So I would highly re recommend that. So like I said, this one, the cream cleanser, it's just a once in a lifetime thing. And when it's gone, I'm never buying it again because it's just, it's just too harsh for my sensitive skin. But I do highly recommend a foaming cleanser or if you can find a gel or cream cleanser that's made by Aveeno and it's not as heavy and it is meant for sensitive skin, then it will work wonders on your skin and face. I assure you, I trust you, Scout's Honor, it will work, definitely. Uh, next is number four, I believe. Or, yes, one, two, three, and four. Okay, uh, number five, my bad. That was number four. Uh, number five pick is going to be moisturizers. I'm trying to wrap it up as much as I can. And then uh, I highly believe that you should have a day moisturizer as well as a night moisturizer. So that way you're killing two birds with one stone. You're constantly giving your face the moisture that it needs and you're also treating it for any correctors that it needs to be done. Uh, for my day moisture, I have the pairing 
of Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. Does the same exact thing. It clinically proven to visibly reduce the redness, soothe irritated or sensitive skin with naturally calming fever view. And it smells good and it and when it first comes out it kind of has like this beige pinkish ivory skin tone to it but then after you put it on like all my it just instantly goes into your face and it's a very light you don't have to worry about it uh, making your face feel itchy or anything and I highly recommend this also I probably use this moisturize completely I probably moisturize my face maybe three to four times a week so every other night so if I put this on tonight I might skip tomorrow or put this on this morning, I'll skip tomorrow morning and then do it the next two mornings and then skip another morning, you know, just so you can give your face some time to breathe. But highly, highly recommend this stuff. This stuff is awesome. Definitely. Oh, so indefinitely. And it's even better when you pair it with the foaming cleanser. So definitely get these two. If you have fair sensitive skin, I guarantee you it's going to work wonders on your face. <laughs> Um, also, I believe that you should have a night cleanser, but night cleansers you need to use a little bit more rarely than daily cleansers. So my night cleanser is the Olay Complete Night Fortifying Cleanser, which is a moisture cream with aloe, vitamins E, B3, and pro vitamin B5 for all skin types. And it looks like this. You can see the stuff. Yeah. It looks like this. Here, let me kind of block it. There you go. Kind of has a very light label on it. If you can see it, nice blue top. <laughs> and it smells really good. And it's a moisture cream. Smells really good to me anyway. It smells kind of like aloe, but not like that overpowering aloe. And it's literally a thick cream cleanser. As you can tell, see, it ain't going nowhere. So if it ain't coming out of the tube at all, it's not moving, then I definitely highly recommend having this. In fact, I'm probably going to put this on after I get done with this video. It's got a cooling effect. Um, it helps fortify and moisturize your face while you're asleep. And it also keeps you cool while you're doing it. So put it all over your face area, put it all over your forehead area and your dimple area and everything. I even put it under my chin right here and along my neckline and it just cools me down so much. And this works wonders if you throw it in the fridge uh, right before you go to bed or maybe just keep it in the fridge for half an hour or so let it get really really cold while you're in the shower or doing whatever other routines you have and then put it on oh my god it is amazing it is amazing and i think that you should do that now when it comes to choosing your moisturizers whatever works for your face is whatever works for your face just like this olay stuff it says for all skin types so it's good for oily skin it's good for dry skin it's good for sensitive skin like me it's good for heavy duty skin thick or thin whatever you can think of i highly highly recommend olay <laughs> Or, or if you can find the Aveeno stuff, you can even use this again, but I probably wouldn't take a chance of using the Aveeno Ultra Calming two nights in a row. I think they have uh, plenty of other types of moisturizers to choose from, and then they also have eye creams and stuff. I thought about getting an L'Oreal or an Olay eye cream because I do have really bad dark circles under my eyes. They look like they're really puffy and really tired. But anyways, those are my top five things. I have lotion, hand sanitizer, cleansers, moisturizers, and then of course, <laughs> deodorant. And they're not in any particular order whatsoever. I just wanted to show you guys what my daily routine was. And if you have any thoughts or aftermath of these things, then by all means, comment, share, give me your opinions and whatnot. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a great night.